What up internet, TV Geek here with a recap of Curve. I had a lot of fun with this premiere. I'm not as in love with it as everyone else was, mostly because of the tampon thing. I uh, think I just had my first period. Look, I know that in Larry's world, things like this could happen. I mean, last season and the whole rationer, you know, that happened. So stuff like this can happen. I got this! Look, she would not be that calm. Larry would not walk her through it. It pushes it out! Are you sure you're reading the right direction? No, no, listen! It seems super contrived, so you could have that scene of Larry David helping a Girl Scout insert a tampon. It's a hilarious concept, but to get there, it took a little bit too much for me to buy, and I don't think it was funny enough to marry it. I just don't get what you're saying. I do like that Girl Scout though. I was trying to remember where I knew her from. She's a little girl on this past season of Justified, which I still haven't watched the friggin' finale. And she's also in one of my favorite episodes of Modern Family, Fizbo. We'll drive away. Is there a problem here? <laughs> But there was a lot of stuff in here I did like. I love Paul Tompkins as the Swede lawyer. That's not why I bought it, but uh, let's call it a happy accident. You gotta give it up for Katz. Hello, I'm Hiram Katz, attorney at law. Maybe I can straighten this out. The lawyer that Larry leaves PFT for. <laughs> that was great, you knew that was gonna be trouble. The second that we see that Larry David handshake. <laughs> Anytime Larry is this excited about an idea of his, you know it's gonna end horribly. You just know it. <laughs> I love the whole Marty's getting divorced. Guess who's getting a divorce? Martin Norton Funkhauser! And I love how Jeff is a little, like, jealous. It's just that everybody's getting a chance to get divorced except me. <laughs> now, we all know Marty is super gay, right? I keep wanting to go back and, like, watch an old clip to see if his voice was like that then, but I want to preserve the memory of the super awesome that I remember Super Dave being as a kid. I have a feeling if something's not going to hold up when you're older, Super Dave would be one of them. But anyway, another all-star from tonight is, of course, Leon, a.k.a. J.B. Smooth. You don't run the other ass on the ground, right? I don't want to talk about my wife like that. <laughs> Man, that dude is hilarious. I love that they've kept him as Larry's roommate. No questions asked. It's like Larry gave him a double take after Loretta left. So I love that it's just accepted that they're like this odd couple roommate. And I can't wait till they get to New York. We got a half hour to get out of here. I suggest you go pack up and bring your stuff down. F you, Larry. F you, Leon. <laughs> All right, this was a really solid app. I don't know, part of me wanted them to end this last season. I mean, the Seinfeld reunion, they achieved the impossible. They had a TV reunion that wasn't cheesy, it wasn't embarrassing, it was just as awesome as the show. Like, that's, that's such a feat to do that, and they did it. And it would have been a great way to end it, and now here we are back again, just doing normal episodes, and it's just kind of like, meh, I don't know. Maybe I'll come around when they get to New York and RG shows up. <sighs> You know? But you know what? That's okay. Look, I'd rather have any Larry than no Larry. So I guess we can't complain. But rating, 8 out of 10? Yeah. Let's go. We're gonna be late. <laughs>